actual. So, but now, and now let's take the average of, of all of the, of, of the 100 samples that we took. It's the average brackets. I'm hitting the up arrow and then I'm holding down control shift and up. And now I'm just simply holding shift so I don't pick up the header and down. And so you can see the formula is still up top in the formula bar average BE2 colon to BE101 and enter. So now I can, if I double click, there's the formula. If I put my cursor on that, I can put my cursor on the fill handle now, left click and drag that to the right and it will pick up all of the relative references all the way to the right. Now, because this is my conclusion line, maybe I select this and make it like a different color, like say home tab, font group, drop down, let's make it blue and white. And then you might put like underlines here. You might put underlines select in this column, home tab and font group and center. So, so now I can compare this to my, to the actual, this is, these are my samples. Now I took 10 samples of a hundred this time. Let's compare that to the actual data. So I'm going to hit equals down here again, and I'm going to go back to my, and I'm going to go back to that, uh, where I calculated the the sample i did it over here somewhere there it is so i want to pick up this table it's in i put it in cell s17 s17 enter i'm just going to build that table again putting my cursor on this cell fill handle drag it to the right and then i'm going to drag it down i don't need this middle column because nothing's in it and then let's format this by going to the home tab font group bucket blue and border so there's the actual amount for the population remember again that in this case we have the entire population right and we're trying to look at a sample to see how close if i was to randomly take a sample we get to the numbers that we already know from the entire population so that we can so that we can then apply those concepts to times when we don't know the entire population right so this is the actual kind of answer in terms of the mean and we get pretty close right we got the the 68 uh, uh 67 and so on to to that with a with a sample of uh 100. so now you might want to represent this sample as a column so just to practice our excel skills here i could then copy this and say i would like to see this in the format of a column as the results of my 10 samples so let's copy that i'm going to go up top and say let's put that i'm going to put it over here in br br right click and i'm going to paste it just one two three because i just want the values not the formulas so so there there it is here and then if i want to take those numbers and flip it so it's on the vertical uh, i can put my cursor in b q right actually i should have copied it let's copy it again let's copy those numbers copy those numbers i'm going to put my cursor in b q and i'm going to right click special because i want to switch it to be to transpose it so i want to transpose down here and now it'll put that vertical so that's a useful tool to know so if i then select these i'm going to delete these don't need these because i got them vertical now and then again you can you can kind of see there's there's the average uh th this is the this is the sample sample average and then this is the actual average let's say and then the difference difference and let's make this a table select or let's make it a, a, a header home tab font group i'm going to make it black and white and then i'm going to go to the alignment and uh, wrap the text and then center it and then uh, the average i'm going to say this equals and i'm going to scroll down to that average that i got down below way down way down in my table there's the actual average 
and then that's the same all the way down. So I'm just gonna say this equals the same number equals the one above it. And then if I copy that down, it will always equal the one above it. Putting my cursor on the fill handle, dragging down. So it always equals the one above it. And then the difference, this is gonna be equal to the sample minus the actual. There's our difference, which I could put my cursor on the fill handle, drag it down. I can copy and paste it, or I can just double click and that'll take it down. So now you've got some that are over and uh, and some that are that are under on the average. So remember what we did here, we took we took samples of 100 and we could analyze each of these one samples how close they are to the average. But then we took the average of each of these 10 hundred uh, sam there's actually 11 of them. <laughs> 11 samples and then uh, and then and, and so these are the averages of the 11 samples and now we're comparing